Hi, I'm Russ Sargent. 14 years ago, I made this video showing how I set up and used the Mobius Looper by Circular Labs as a plugin within Ableton. Well, many years later, a new 64-bit version of Mobius has been released. I received a recent question on my old video asking how to use Mobius as a standard multi-track looper without a click or any sync to a door. I'll be using my Behringer FCB 1010 for MIDI. Let's get started. So the FCB 1010 is notoriously awkward to program, so I use the FCB Uno Control Center software. The link is below in the video description. So let's go ahead and connect my FCB 1010. This software can be used with the regular FCB or the Uno equipped one. Uh, I have my FCB set up with stomp boxes on the top uh, and regular buttons on the bottom. Um, but I won't be going into that detail in this video, uh, but just to let you know how I use it. So each of the buttons needs to send a MIDI note. I have my bottom row sending notes 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. As you'll see, the numbers change at the bottom there. Um, I then also have the two expression pedals set up as well, sending CCs on 30 and 31. Opening Mobius, let's first set up our audio interface. Uh, input and output, I'm using my Scarlett 4i4 and with the 128 samples for almost zero latency. Then let's choose our MIDI input device. I'm using my Scarlett again. I've just put ticks in the boxes right across because I use Mobius standalone and as a plugin. Next, let's set up our MIDI bindings. Here you can see on the left a list of the bindings I have in place, and on the right here the available bindings functions. Uh, this area here allows us to map notes to functions. So let's do a new set, and I'm just going to simply map record and overdub. So let's scroll down to record, we'll find the list. There it is. Okay, so this little capture here has to be ticked. So I'm just going to check it and check it again. Okay, so now I'm hitting button one on my FCB and then hitting new there and record has popped up there as B2. So now let's find overdub and we'll do the same again. Capture is ticked. Hit button two on my FCB. Hit new and there's the overdub map to C1. Okay, and you just keep going and add the functions you want to add. Next we'll set up a few global parameters. Um, you can see I'm using four tracks and hitting the advanced tab, that's important to have monitor audio turned on. Or if you want to hear what you're doing. Going into tracks, I have two track setups, default and free. Default I use for synchronizing to door, so it'll sync to a click, sync source there you can see is host and the other tracks you'll see are set to sync to that first track. For free looping, I have another setup which isn't linked to a door, so the track sync is just a default setting that is already set with Mobius. You'll see my other settings there if you want to make a note of them. Under synchronization, these are the settings I'm using so that I can freely start track one and then the other tracks synchronize to track one. This is a view of my FCB 1010 in all its glory. This extra little controller on top is an MVAVE chocolate, which I use for extra functions not covered in this video. 